Is everybody ready for our detective game? The game where we try to solve a mystery? Sure, yeah. Great, but where's Cindy? She'll be here soon. She had something she wanted to do first. And Cindy wouldn't tell us what it was. That's not like Cindy. It's very mysterious. Do you think this is our first mystery, Ricky? I brought a magnifying glass to help look for clues. Hmm, that could be very useful, Bradley. You look just like a detective. Thanks, Jennifer. I like to solve mysteries. Come in. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi Cindy. Cindy. It's good to see you. Bradley, what are you doing? I'm looking for clues to help me solve the mystery. What mystery? The mystery of what you were doing before you came here, of course. Oh, you want to solve that mystery? Well, let me help you out. When you're gonna solve a mystery, there's lots to do. You need some things before you start to look for clues. We're gonna need to put on our detective hats. To examine things up close, we'll need our magnifying glass. When you're playing a hunch, toss it sticks a bubble. No clue is too small, cause there's a mystery to solve. It's a mystery, a new discovery. It's a mystery to me. Solve this mystery. Things have a way of looking different from the outside. Examine all the evidence before you decide. It's a funny situation when the answer's unknown. There's a puzzle to unravel up beneath every stone. When you're searching for clues, you gotta stop and smell the roses. Cause a good detective knows. before you came here. Well, Bradley, if you really must know, I was making friendship bracelets for all of you. They say DC. That stands for Detective Club. Here you go. Thanks, Cindy. Yeah, thank you. Wow, red and orange are my favorite colors. Yeah, thanks, Cindy. These are great. Now we can be detectives. Come in. Boop, 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 boop. Hi, Harold. Hi, Harold. Whoa, hello, everyone. Harold, are you here to play detective with us? I would love to, but I can't play right now. I have to go to the mall, the library, and the park. Gee, you're awfully busy, Harold. Is there something that we could help you with? I don't think so, Ricky, but thanks for offering. There are lots of places that I have to go. Okay, see you later. Bye, Harold. 
I wonder why Harold can't stay and play detectives with us. Harold was in such a rush that I didn't even get a chance to give him his detective club bracelet. That's not like Harold. He isn't usually in such a rush. He said he had to go to a lot of different places. Yeah. The park. The library. And the mall. That sounds very... mysterious. Don't you think? Maybe he's working on a new invention and he has to go to all those places to get special parts for it. The doorbell. I wonder if that's Harold again. Come in. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Ricky. Hi, everyone. Hi, Nikki. We're playing detective, and I made you this friendship bracelet for our detective club. Oh, neat. Thank you, Cindy. It's beautiful. And uh, speaking of detectives, I have a mystery for all of you. What is it, Nikki? Well, I found this toy dump truck in the park, and I don't know who it belongs to. Is it from your toy truck collection, Ricky? No, Nikki, it isn't mine. See, all of my toy trucks are right here in my collection corner. There's my fire truck, my cargo truck, and my dump truck. Plus, my dump truck is yellow, but the one you found is orange. Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, then, I wonder who this dump truck belongs to, then. Maybe one of the children in the park was playing in the sandbox doing construction. What do you mean, construction? Construction means building things. Dump trucks are always used when you have to build things. Hey, I know a song about construction. <laughs> Shoes to prevent you from harm while the machinery is used. We pile all our bricks and we stack all our wood. Our building foundation really starts to look good. The cranes are moving and the dump trucks run. Our, our whole construction, construction site is starting to hum. While we work, work, as we're working on construction, while we dig. the truck is looking for it. Just because I found this truck doesn't mean that I can keep it. It doesn't belong to me. It does now. That's the way Finders Keepers works. But Adam, what if this was your dumb truck and you had lost it? Would you want the person who found it to keep it? Or would you want them to give it back to you? I'd want them to give it back. Exactly. 
And that's exactly why Nikki should give it back. But what about Finders Keepers, Recky? Finders Keepers is not the right thing to do, Jennifer. The right thing to do is to give it back. Have you ever lost something that meant an awful lot to you? Did it make you feel real sad? Did it make you feel blue? Imagine if someone had found it and they brought it back to you. Doesn't that sound like the nicest thing to do? I bet if you found something too, you'd give it back because you're honest and true. When I'm nice to you, then you're nice to me. Be kind to one another, it's the best way to be. It's a lesson that you learn like when you're in school. You'll always do the right thing, it's the golden rule. Thanks for another great day. Do you think there's any way that the band and I could tell real kids about you? On December 4th, the God Rock star and Flip Flop and Rock when Chip becomes a real boy. Hey, Rock, how you doing? Come to the Meeting House in Oakville. What have I done? And watch the big screen premiere. Then see Chandelier, the world's smartest dog, perform live on stage. The God Rocks will be there, too, performing songs from their new CD. Call 905-336-9556 for ticket info now. Hi, I'm Mr. Hockey, Gordy Howe. Hi, it's Gordy Howe going into the Growing up in Saskatchewan, I, like many other Canadians, loved our great outdoors. It seemed so vast then that nothing would ever change it. The sad fact is that wetlands across the country are being lost at an alarming rate. Ducks Unlimited Canada needs your help to ensure that these precious resources are here for future generations. Your kids and their kids will be glad you did it. Entertainment Extra. Tune into CTS for Happy Days weeknights at 8:30. I can't get this stupid window closed. There's lots of funny sitcom families in our weeknight lineup, but none come close to one of the most famous TV families of all time, the Cunninghams. Got some great news for you. What's that? I rented the apartment. To who? Fonzie. Be sure to check out what's coming up on Happy Days online at ctstv.com. For Entertainment Extra, I'm Tanya Prokomanko. What's he saying, Father? Uh, Commandant Cartier, he's saying uh, this nation's name is uh, Canada. Canada? <laughs> uh. 
cat not dog. Uh, big, big pardon, sir, but the word he used, I think it really means those houses down no, there. No, no, believe me, I know the word. It means nation, and Canada is its name. But I'm sure it means the houses, the village. So that means that we should try to find out who lost the truck and return it to that person. That's exactly right, you two. It could be our detective club's first case. Finding the owner of the lost dump truck. But how? How do we find the owner? Where do we start? We look for clues. Clues? Yes, hints that will lead us to the person who owns the truck. For example, Mickey found the dump truck in the park. So whoever lost the dump truck must have been playing in the park. I know, we can make signs saying we found it. And then we can hang the signs up in the park. That's a great idea. And we could put Wiki's phone number on the sign so that people can call here to ask about the truck. Yeah, we're gonna be rhino -rhythmic detectives. We can get everything we need to make the signs for my crap frog. Great, let's get started. the dump truck just by the baseball diamond what were you doing there well playing baseball of course baseball i love baseball oh me too it's one of my favorite sports hey let's do the baseball swing someone calls to ask about the truck. Did you put up all the signs? Every single one. We put them on the park and on the streets near the park. And all around the baseball diamonds. So what do we do now, Ricky? Now we just have to wait and see if whoever lost the dump truck finds us. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Hi, Harold! Hi, Harold! Hi, Harold. Oh, hi, everybody! I'm back! Harold, did you finish going to all of your places? I sure did, Ricky. But unfortunately, I had no luck in finding what I was looking for. See, I told you he was looking for special parts for his new invention. What have all of you been doing? We're playing detective, and we're trying to solve a little mystery. That sounds like fun. Right now, we're waiting to see if someone calls us with a clue to solve our mystery. I know something we can do while we wait. Let's play the Wonder Ball. Great idea. And I have just the ball to play with.
wonder ball goes round and round to pass it quickly you are bound if you're the one to pass it last why then for you this game is passed in you everybody, but I have to leave again to continue my search. See you later, everybody. See you later. See you later. Boop, ba, doop, boop, boop, boop. Gosh, I wonder what Harold lost that he's so eager to find. Speaking of lost, Jennifer, where's your detective club bracelet? Oh no, I lost it. It must have fallen off while I was hanging up the sign. It's okay, Jennifer. Today we've learned a lot about how to find lost things. That's right, Jennifer. We should make signs saying that you lost your bracelet. And we can go back to the park and look at all the places that you went today. Now we're starting to become real detectives. Don't worry, Jennifer. I'm sure it'll turn up sooner or later. I sure hope so. I wonder if that's the person who lost the truck. Come in. Hi, Harold. Hi, everybody. Hi, Harold. Did you find what you were looking for? Not exactly, Ricky, but I did find something else. I found this sign in the park. Did one of you find my dump truck? That? Your dump truck, Harold? It sure is. And when I saw the sign in the park, I knew that my dump truck was found. Here you go, Harold. Thanks, Adam. And thanks to everybody for making such a special effort. It was the right thing to do. Oh, I'm so happy to have my dump truck back that I almost forgot to tell you about this new mystery that I have to solve. What is it, Harold? Did you lose something else? No, actually I found something when I was looking for my dump truck. This beautiful bracelet was right underneath your sign. It has beads with the letters D and C on it. I wonder what they stand for. It stands for Detective Club, Harold. You found my bracelet. You found it. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Jennifer. I'm so happy we found the owner of the dump truck. I would have been awfully sad if someone had found my bracelet and they decided they were going to keep it. That's right. When people lose things, they are usually very sad. But when someone finds the lost thing and returns it, it makes people very happy again. That's right. I am very happy to have my dump truck back. Well, that's what friends are for. We always have fun when we get together with our friends. Singing, dancing, laugh and play. Let's have fun every day. Let's be nice, give and share. Show our friends how much we care. Holding hands with Laughing, smiling, having fun. Singing, dancing, laugh and play. Let's have fun every day. Let's be nice, give and share. Show our friends how much we care. Holding hands with everyone. Laughing, 
laughing, smiling, having fun. It was fun playing detectives today. I wonder what our next mystery will be. Whatever it is, we'll solve it. Good job, detectives. Well, see you next time. And remember, play safe and have yourself a rhino rific day! Entertainment Extra. Watch Danger Bay on CTS weekdays at 1.30. Hang in there, come on. With all these people on your side, what could go wrong, right? Right. Thanks, Joyce. Grant, have you heard from the Coast Guard? Yeah, Joyce. They're standing in a hovercraft as soon as they get clearance. Keep looking. You couldn't have gotten very far. A truly unique Canadian series, Danger Bay follows the lives of Marine Specialist Dr. Grant Roberts and his family as they try to protect the waters off British Columbia's beautiful coastline. Hey, they're pulling up a salmon net. They shouldn't be. It's out of season. We've got to tell Dad. Let's get out of here. For Entertainment Extra, I'm Tanya Prokomanko. Be sure to visit ctstv.com. Daytime on CTS. Danger Bay at 1.30. Touched by an Angel at 3. The Muppet Show at 4. Charles in Charge at 4.30. Full House at 5. Growing Pains at 5.30. Daytime on CTS.